Well done. You've now found that you have the desire to exercise, but you don't have anyone to do it with. That's okay. You don't need to have friends or family or support network straight away. Exercise and movement can start as simple as you getting out for a walk or a jog or doing a home workout in your, in your little area, in your home space or your office space. Starting is the first step. With this desire in mind and without the friends or support network with you, starting exercise is going to have a couple of steps to move forward. First one we want to start with is make it a routine. If it is every week at five o'clock in the morning or at night time in the, in, the, in the afternoon after dinner, begin there. Whether it's once, twice, three times a week, every single week be consistent and stick to that routine. By doing that, you're allowing yourself to set up a habit and mark it off as a tick rather than a cross. You've now got the routine down pat, love it. Keep it going. That is where you'll find the biggest results. But when your motivation starts to slip down and then you start to question about your routine, even though you're doing it, how are you gonna move, move forward and keep that consistent training? Variety. Variety is a great way to spark your interest in exercise and movement. It could be as simple as making a weights program with a different type of tool or doing resistance training to cardio training. Whether you're doing running, go swimming. A small variation can keep you interested in your workouts and keep that continuity that you've worked so hard to build. Now you've got your routine set, you're, you're having fun with the variety and your exercise is on point. Good, keep it going. You started this journey without hesitation, without having anyone to do it with. You know you can do this, but it is also really great for your motivation and your confidence if you are able to share your excitement and your lows, don't forget your lows, with others. It might plant a seed in their head that, oh wow, I could do this. If, if, if she can do it, I can do it too. Share this with your friends, your family, or anyone that you'd like to be a part or think they'd, they'd benefit from exercise as well. The last step, or it could be your first one if you've got that confidence, is start with group training. Group training is wonderful because this journey that you've now been on to get a routine going, find that variety, and then hopefully start to find others to do it with is all in built in one. The best thing is you don't have to do all that work. It's set at a certain time, you rock up, there's friends automatically, as you get to know them, of course. And they do all the thinking for you. So group training could be either got the start or the end, and that way you'll start to feel a bit more confident as you begin your journey. 